Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I've got a really fun thing we're going to do, which is actually part of something that I will be teaching at Taiji Alchemy in Sedona next uh, next week. And uh, it's, uh, it's called Dragon Yearns to Fly But Cannot. And that's the... Uh, it's a Bagua Zhang Qigong uh, exercise, and it has some really cool energies. And um, so we're going to uh, play around with that. First, we're going to uh, go over a couple of really important points, and that is how we create energy with holding poles in opposition, and also uh, how you open the shoulders by reaching with your elbows. There's a couple of really Key points there with the uh, with, with and doing this this particular qigong. It's also applicable to just about everything. Um, the, the idea of holding poles in opposition is holding poles in opposition. This is something that I've discussed often, and we've done a lot of exercises with that. But just to review, for just in case people are just tuning in, the uh, idea is that if we want to generate a qi flow. We need to mentally create an opposing uh, two opposing terminals, and that kind of generates one becomes yin yang, the other one or, or it becomes positive negative. The idea, is, like, say, if I take my hands and I imagine, if I not imagine, but I'm going to feel like I'm pushing them together, so I'm doing everything but actually moving my hands, and so that what that does is one one hand opposite the other, it creates this two pole system. And I start to feel cool stuff in my hands. The, uh, I, I get the tingling, pulsing kind of sensations that are characteristic of chi activity in my hands. And so same thing if I pull them apart and don't move. So this is where we get the dragon yearns to fly, but cannot, there's a, there's a, Oh, a desire to do something, a, a willingness to do something, and intention and effort to do something, but there's also no execution. You're not physically executing. So what happens is we do. It's kind of like revving up the car at the at the at the stoplight, and you're going to do a, a really fast takeoff. So there's a you're you're creating this effect in a stationary posture and then you can translate that into motion and uh, but it, it resides with you as energy potentials recreatable energy potentials so every time we do that whatever it is we're 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 doing in in taiji Tran or any of the martial arts the internal martial arts is we are generating a uh, these energy potentials, which are accessible to us whenever we want them. And, and it, they're more easily accessible in a super conscious state. That is when body, mind, spirit are integrated. So that we, uh, we, we do that, you know, through consciously doing, consciously feeling. And then we get this, we create this super conscious state. Everything all aspects of our being come online, get moved into the present moment and cool stuff happens. So um, so we're going to uh, we're gonna play around with that. The other thing about reaching with the elbows is that, you know, if you are, if your elbow, if there's no awareness in your elbow, there's a tendency to move everything from the shoulder. And what one do is in order to be able to Kind of put the clutch in with regard to our shoulders to get, to disengage the mus muscular tension that a lot of us hold constantly. We just reach with the elbow, and you can feel it by, like, say, you put your hand there and just kind of push against your hand with your elbow by reaching outward, but but not moving your back. So you're opening up the shoulder joint, so your arm is getting longer. And you can do it just by with your arm extended. Just reach out with the elbow and open up the shoulder joint. The the shoulder the 
back doesn't move, but the, the shoulder joint opens up. And so that's how we create this thing. So if you're, you have your arms extending outward like this and you reach out with your elbows, you create this opening there in the shoulder. Also, what happened, we, we want to do is to feel it all the way through the back so that the shoulder blades are pulling apart. So where that space there, the back gets opened and we create this connection, this energetic connection through the back so that both arms get, get really, uh, uh, they become part of one system. And then there's no delay in moving left or right. You know, uh, a lot of times if there is a disconnection there, left and right are two separate things. They require two different sides of your brain, your two different hemispheres trying to coordinate. Whereas if you you connect them up like that, then they both ask, both parts of the brain kind of go into uh, a, a synchronized, synchronized state and then you're able to get, work with a whole brain coherence. So all this is really uh, fun stuff and uh, the important thing is to actually do it. So the, uh, the exercise we're gonna be doing, dragon yearns to fly, but cannot. We're not gonna be doing the whole exercise. We're just gonna, I'm just, I just selected out parts of it that, uh, that we can do online really easily. And um, um, so we're going to be using that, that, that sense of the push-pull that occurs, that internal push-pull that occurs that creates this chi flow. And beyond that, and even perhaps even more important is it's not just energy flow because then the energy gets converted into jin, which is where we're actually manifesting the energy and directing it with the physical body. So all this stuff is, you know, we're creating this chi flow, but it's in service to the jin to, to be able to actually express the energy through your body. So uh, why don't you stand up and let's uh, let's play around with this. Okay, that's a little wider than hip width. Of course, we're going to establish our three pillars. Our first of all, starting with our energetic coherence, we do that by pointing and reaching with our index fingers feeling them, so just by doing that, feeling consciously, feeling the index fingers and reaching with them, we activate the connective tissue system throughout the whole body, get this, create this energetically coherent state. The whole body then is united. The energy, it becomes one chi in the whole body. Now we're going to establish the central equilibrium. You want to feel the balls of your feet. Let the, the weight of the of your body spread throughout the whole foot, but primarily focusing on the balls right now. The knees are unlocked. You're sinking down into the earth, letting go of any extraneous muscular tension. You want to have only as much as you need to not fall down. So now we reach for the crown of the head and tuck in the chin and open up the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. We're establishing two poles in opposition right here. By reaching up with the crown, we are accessing the yang chi of the heavens by sinking down into the through the feet into the earth allows the yin chi of the earth to rise through the bubbling well that's the two energy point the yang tran points uh, which are kidney one on the acupuncture meridians and that's the, our primary entry point 
primary gate for earth chi coming in. When you tuck in your chin and reach up with the crown, you'll feel that stretch at the back of your neck. Um, this is really helpful because it opens up the jade pillow gate, which allows for circulation to, to uh, between the body and the brain, between your torso and your brain, through your neck. And this nourishes your brain, allows for the smooth flow of cerebral spinal fluid, and allows the chi to rise to the spirit valley at the center of your brain. Relax your lower back and drop your tailbone. Okay. We take a little time with the three pillars just to be able to really firm that up. And we want to get it so that it becomes kind of automatic after a while, that this becomes a preferred state. That central equilibrium, we're accessing the big chi. So now we want to unkink the hose and primary areas. We already started that by opening the jade pillow gate. That's one of the biggest, the biggest points of, uh, of blockage in the body. You want to reach out with your elbows and this opens up the shoulder joints. Your arms are rounded. Just notice when you do that, you reach out a little bit with the elbows and notice you get a bit more chi flow in the, in the hands. Now we want to focus on the claw. So you just spiral down, turn, and just you're turning from the hip joints. So notice I'm not turning from my shoulders. I'm turning from the hip joints. And that frees up the claw, allows the claw to get very soon or, or re released into the structure. So and that allows the energy between your legs and your torso to flow more freely. Just spend a moment and feel the chi flow in your hands and your arms. You'll notice that your mind is clear and you're calm and centered. And this is the effect we're looking for in the three pillars. It also allows us to access an effortless power. We're not using our own chi as much as we're connecting up to the big chi. Yeah. Bend your wrists. Go on the balls of your feet, reach with your wrists, and then lift your fingers and push out with your hands and pull back a little bit with your with your body. Go into your go into your heels as you reach out with your hands and feel those poles in opposition. Your hands are extending outward and then a young movement. The body moves back in a yin movement. Now you pull back with your hands, reach back with your elbows, and your body goes forward into the balls of your feet. So your hands are now moving in a yin way. They're moving backward. Your body is becoming more young and it's going forward. Again, we have the poles in opposition. Push out, sink into your heels. Feel that. As you reach out, you want to reach out also with your elbows and feel your back opening up. Feel that space between your scapula opening up. Feel the connection, the immediate connection between your hands. They're all part of one system. 
responses instantaneous between them. Pull back with your elbows, go forward onto your ball to your feet. Pressing down with your hands. Bring to the balls of your feet and reach up, palms up, gathering. You want to get up about shoulder, neck height, fairly high with your hands, although your elbows are dropped, shoulders are relaxed. You reach out with your elbows and open your back, reach forward with your fingers, pull back with your body and your heels, and reach out there and feel those poles in opposition now. Pull back with your elbows, back with your hands, forward with your body into the balls of your feet. And feel that energy. And reach forward. Back into your heels. Open your back. Feel your shoulder blades spreading. Your back is opening. Think of your heels and Allow yourself to settle into that and feel the yin energy sinking down into the earth. You're settling down even as you're reaching out. So the body is yin and the hands are young. Rotate your forearms and press down. Reach down with your elbows. Down with the wrist, sink into your heels. And hold your hands at about belt high. Reaching out with your elbows. Bring your hands down, sink into your heels and relax. And feel the energy circulate. Okay, so. That was just kind of a warm up there. That's now we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna do the dragon. Dragon yearns to fly but cannot. All right, so reach up with your wrists. Reach forward with your fingers, back with your body into your heels. Just feel into that. Feel the effect of those poles in opposition. Continue to reach up with the crown of your head and tuck in your chin. Continue to open the jade pillow gate and relax your lower back. Knees unlocked. Now pull back with your elbows, forward with your body into the balls of your feet. Feel the effect of that. Yeah. Now go to your heels. Sink, reach forward with your hands. And carry. And 
reach. Put the balls of your feet, reach out. Pull back with your, your body. Open your, open your back, reaching with your elbows. Reach with your fingers. Feel your fingernails. You want your hands to kind of, you want like you're grasping with your fingernails as if they're, they're dragon claws. You want to feel that. And this enhances the wood chi. This feeds your liver. It also feeds your, your sinews, your connective tissue system. You pull back with your elbows. With your heels, reach out, extend, open the back. Now draw your elbows back. Sink down and reach out with your hands. Thumbs down, elbows out. Really reaching out with the elbows, opening up your back, opening up your shoulders, extending the fingers. Feel those fingernails. You're sinking into your, uh, your stance. You're relaxing your lower back. And really feel sinking down. Open and sink down, 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 leaning forward. Your, your back is rounded. You're coming down and sinking down. And then your hands come up, crossing up over your head. And sink down and reach up with your fingers. Bend forward. Bend your wrist, reach up. And you're, you're trying to fly here. You reach up at the wrists, relax your shoulders. Figures it down now. You're bending forward, rounding your back, opening your neck. You're reaching with the neck, and then you come down, and fingers come up, and you're just like you're oh, you're flapping your wings. Body straightens up. <laughs> Bend forward again, reach up with the wrists, sink. Feel your weight in your heels now. And then, ah, uh, flap those wings. You're really extending the arms, opening. Hands come down. In front of you. You know that it's kind of a neutral posture right now. Reach out. With your hands, sink into your heels. Open, reach with your elbows, open your back. Sink and lift your hands. Rotate your forearms, palms down. Feel those claws 
Reach out with your elbows. Open your back and your bowing forward and pressing down with your hands. Feel that back rounded. Open up between your shoulder blades. You're pressing down with your hands. You're reaching with the crown of your head. Rotate your forearms as if you're turning a two big knobs with your hands. You're, you're turning these big knobs, one clockwise, one counterclockwise, as you stand, straighten up. Fingers come down. Step in. Sink into your heels. Allow your body to get very yin. Feel the energy cascading down you into the earth. Like a big waterfall. Take a deep breath. Inhale, go into the balls of your feet. Gather. Think of your heels, reach down with your elbows, down with your wrists, down with the fingers, and throw all the chi away. Discard it, empty out, dissolve into the mist, into the emptiness. Okay. Let's do that again. Okay. Step out with your left a little wider than hip width. Pretty wide, stable stance. And establish your three pillars. Your energetic coherence, your central equilibrium, your, you want to open, you want to unkink the hose. Feel those fingernails, those claws. Also, you want to feel your dragon tail, like as if you got a long tail reaching out from your coccyx. We're not doing a lot of turning here, but it's still good to feel your tail as a stabilizer extending out behind you. And that connects up to the spine. So your whole body is connected and extending energetically behind you. Okay, so sink into the balls of your feet, reach up with the, the wrists, Reach out with the fingers and sink into your heels. Your hands are young, your body is yin. Go back with your elbows. Feel the, you're pulling back, you wanna feel those claws kind of 
grasping at the air, at the space. You're kind of raking the space with your, your fingernails as you do that. Your hands are young, your hands are yin, your body is young now. You're in the balls of your feet. You're into the heels. Reach out with your hands and carry. Rotate and reach out with your fingernails. Feel those fingernails grasping at, at the space in front of you. Your body pulls back. Shoulders are open. Your elbows are reaching. Your back is open. Reaching with the crown of your head. Into the balls of your feet, elbows come back, hands come back, bowing forward, arms go out, sink down into your into your stance, reaching out. The hands you want to actually kind of separate. You want to not here, but more out, more out beyond your shoulders. Elbows reaching. This is a big kind of uh, expansive posture here. You open your back, open your shoulders, and just feel the chi in your hands and your arms, feel it throughout your whole body, that sinewy, vibrant energy that's moving through there. And then Arms come down, bow forward. Hands come down, cross and coming up. Up, 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 open. And ah, uh, sink. Fingers up, Reaching out, open, extending, opening your back, opening your shoulders, opening your chest. Go into the balls of your feet and your arms. Wrists reach up, fingers drop. You're bowing forward. Actually, go to your heels on this one. Go to your heels as you're reaching up. You're soaring now. Coming up, body straightens up, arms flap down, fingers up, balls your feet, sink into your heels, bow forward, reaching up with the wrists, sink, back rounded, and then uh, coming up. Flap down, fingers up. Hands come down. Think of your heels. Feel a neutral posture. Feel the yin here. Reach out with the fingers, reach out with the elbows, open the back. Hands come up in the balls of your feet, reaching, opening. Sink, bow forward. Rotate your forearms, palms down, bow forward, round your back, pressing down, and open.
open, reaching out with your elbows. Feel your fingernails. And rotate your forearms. Turn those big knobs. And body straightens up. Feel the chi in your hands right now. Those knobs a couple of turns, and you just feel that that connection. So we're creating Jin here, that is the ability to express the energy with the body. Hands come down. Yeah, very soon, very. Very yin, body sinks, go to your heels, relax, and step in. Take a deep breath, go into the balls of your feet, hands come up, sink into your heels. Reach down with your elbows, down with your wrists, your fingers, throw it away. Empty out. How'd that go? Every single joint in my hands. <laughs> I have every single one of them right here. <laughs> A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. Good. Good. We like stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, I got so tall. I just <laughs> I just kept getting taller and taller and taller, you know. I mean, I was as tall as Scott, you know. That was wow. just everything <laughs> up the spine and up the legs without any tension or, you know, trying or anything. That's the flying Beautiful. part. That's the flying part, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Scott. I think I screwed up and got a fire dragon. <laughs> <I'm soaked. laughs> a lot of chi going on there. Yeah. There yeah, I got plenty. I got plenty of heat out of it too. Yeah, man, I'm literally I'm like wet. Um, yeah, the, the definitely the feeling of flying was really palpable. Cool. I want to do that more. <laughs> You're gonna do you it. Wanna, you want to do that more? I want to do that more. My dragon's ready to take off. <laughs> journey. To to have the journey. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's 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 powerful. That's that's only half of the uh, of the of the set, but it uh, um, it. Yeah, it, it lends itself well to the, uh, you know, to this medium, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it looks like something that that should uh, should be able to play with a, a, a variety of skill levels, doesn't it? Yes. Sure. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. 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 I mean, it 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 certainly gives you an adult dose. Whatever whatever your exposure is to this point, you'll get more than you expect it going into it. And we'll be in Sedona. Whoa. Yeah, yeah that'll make it uh, 
bigger. Valerie, you already look like you're in Sedona. <laughs> <laughs> you got Sedona on it. <laughs> you know, I broke this wrist when I was a kid, and you know, it was back in the day where they just slap a cast on it and it heals, however it heals. Me too. And yeah, and it's always had numbness and you know, not full feeling. And it's very rare when I'm doing Tai Chi that I can actually feel energy going all the way out through it through this this part of it and today was one of those moments where it was just you know and it's you can just feel it sort of like cracking through the blockage and making its I, way out you know right. it's really really nice yeah the uh the opening like that um is uh, good for the heart meridian Okay, and and that's what's going up there in that in that mm -hmm. little finger, you know, uh, okay. heart and uh, small intestine, I think. And uh, so whenever you're opening like that, you're you're really kind of getting that heart meridian really wide open. You got heart one here right in the armpit, and then it shoots up the the uh, outside of the arm like that, and to the little finger. So, um, it it might be a good thing for you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. To, to, yeah. to get that, to get that that channel operational. Get that movement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Right. I look forward to that. Well, I know for me, um, something I always have to work on is <clears throat> allowing the back to open, because I just carry so much tension. Um, I'm very aware of it, but uh, to really get into that opening and to you know allow that to flow uh i mean i have i've had a lot of different feelings of of energy in my hands and this is just it's different mm -hmm. and i mean there's there's this warmth which i've had warmth before but there's i don't i can't describe it doesn't feel like a full balloon it feels more right like it doesn't yeah. feel like they're expanding like they normally do. It feels more, yeah. It's it's a soft and it's warm, and it wants to fly. <laughs> Did I and mention I, the flying thing? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but I think you're right, Scott. It's not like sometimes you get a lot of chi. It's just like you feel like, oh, I have fat fingers. You know, yeah, right, fat right. fingers. Yeah, not in a bad way. Right. right. No, no. It's felt just more like. It was integrated into the whole instead of being something that was, you know, puffing up and, and coming. It was felt much more integrated, I think. I think That's it's good. um I think for me, I think it's actually it's um uh, more of like of a wood wood energy wood feel wood energy feeling. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that getting those dragon claws operational, I think is is a, a major upgrade, mm -hmm. you know, for all of us. <laughs> Okay. Well, and mine are purple. That that wood chi, you know, is is really very cool. Yeah. And, yes. uh, my 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 claws are purple. Purple claws, I like it. Uh, I no, think it's nice. Linda's influence. I've got purple claws. Nice, nice glitter on them too. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> shiny, shiny. Right. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. It's been. A whole lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in just a few days. Yay! And just for uh, for those tuning in at home, uh, no class next week. We'll be a whole bunch of us here. We'll we'll all be in uh, in uh, Sedona for Taiji Alchemy, the thirtieth anniversary of Ooh. Taiji Alchemy. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you, Maria. Thank Thanks, you, Maria. Travels, everybody. Safe travels, and see you soon. Yep. Good luck you soon. Bye. -bye.